Good morning, guys. Happy June. I am Mishi, and this is Mixed Kids. I am so happy that you are watching this morning. Let me tell you who we are. We are a mix of people coming together to change lives and change the world. We are happy to bring you all fun and exciting ways for you to know God. Our prayer is that you will share God's love with your family and friends. I can't believe that it's June already. School will be out soon and it will be summer vacation. Do you have any exciting things planned for the summer? When I was a little girl, I loved hanging out with my cousins during summer break. We would play all types of games like freeze tag, baseball, basketball, and hide and seek. We would also pretend to be superheroes. I was always Wonder Woman. This month, we will be talking about ordinary superheroes of the Bible. These ordinary superheroes were people just like you and me, and God used them to do extraordinary things. Today, we will learn how God helped a young man named Joseph get through some very difficult times. He was one of 12 sons. However, Jacob, his father, liked him the best. This made all of the other brothers very, very jealous. Take a look. God's story, Joseph. So part of God's story is about a guy named Joseph, and it begins like this. Once there was a guy named Joseph who had 10 older brothers and one younger one. When Joe was a boy, he was his dad's favorite. In fact, his dad liked him so much better than his brothers that he gave Joe a special gift to prove it. You can imagine this made his brothers jealous and Joe only made things worse. He told his brothers about dreams he had where he was ruling over them. Well, this made Joe's brothers furious. One day they were working and saw Joe coming. They said, here comes that dreamer. They threw Joe into a dark pit. They might have left him there forever, but they met some men traveling from Egypt and sold Joe to them as a servant instead. They thought that was slightly nicer than leaving him in a pit. Then they went home and told their father Joe had been killed by a wild animal. This broke their dad's heart. Kids, these brothers were really bad news. Selling a sibling is never a good idea. Ever. But the Bible says the Lord was with Joe. When Joe was a servant, he worked for a really important rich guy named Potiphar. And Potiphar liked Joe so much, he put him in charge of the whole house. Joe was happy until one day he was blamed for something he didn't do. Potiphar sent him straight to jail. Well, God was still with Joe, even in prison. The guard decided he liked Joe so much, he put him in charge of all the other prisoners. Then God gave Joe special knowledge about dreams. When two prisoners had dreams, Joe knew what they meant, so he told them. Two years later, Egypt's ruler called Pharaoh had a dream, and nobody knew what it meant. But by now, one of the two prisoners Joe had helped was out of jail and working for Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh about Joe, and God helped Joe figure out what Pharaoh's dream meant. But Pharaoh's dream was really more of a nightmare. It meant that everybody in Egypt would have food for seven years, then be hungry for seven years. Joe told Pharaoh the only way to survive was to store food during the seven good years. Well, Pharaoh thought Joe's idea was brilliant. He put him in charge. During the seven hungry years, nobody could eat without getting food from Joe. He was like a human vending machine. Well, remember how Joe had 11 brothers? Like everybody else, they had to get food from Joe. And when they came, they didn't even recognize their brother. But Joe knew who they were. He secretly tested them to see if they changed. After all, they did throw him in a pit and sell him. Finally, he couldn't hide who he was from his brothers anymore. He told everyone to leave the room because he was about to cry. After sobbing for a few minutes, he told them, I'm your brother Joseph. I'm the one you sold. The brothers couldn't believe it. They had hurt Joe, but God had taken care of him during the good times and the bad. Even with everything they had done to Joe, he forgave them because he was willing to follow God, even when it was hard. Joe told them, you plan to harm me, but God planned it for good. And God used Joe to save many lives, including the family that was part of God's special rescue plan. And that's the story of Joseph. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Joe was his dad's favorite. His brother sold him. Potiphar put Joe in charge. Joe was sent to jail. The guard put Joe in charge. Fair had a bad dream. 
Joe told him what it meant. Pharaoh put Joe in charge. Joe's brothers had to come to him for food. Joe forgave them. This was part of God's rescue plan. And that's a part of God's story. Joseph had it made. He was his father's favorite and got some special attention. And then all of a sudden, things turned upside down. Joseph could have given up or become bitter, but instead he trusted and followed God's purpose. What others meant for evil, God used for good. God continued to help Joseph prosper throughout his life. Sometimes things may happen in our lives and make us feel bad. Our family members may get hurt or even hurt our feelings or harm us. We, if we continue to love, honor, and follow God no matter what, He will take care of us according to His purpose. All of you are familiar with the two items that I'm holding in my hand, right? Right. This is an everyday cup. This one is. You may be thinking to yourself, what do I have in common with an everyday cup? Believe it or not, cups and people do have similarities. The only thing that you can pour out of the cup is what you put into the cup. If you pour candy into the cup, you'll get candy out of the cup. If you pour sour pickles into a cup, you'll get sour pickles out of the cup. Our minds are much like the example of this cup. What we put into our minds is what we will use later. The things of what we place in our mind will shape the way we behave and the way we interact with others. Wise people will spend time putting godly things into their minds and avoid filling their minds with garbage. Another lesson that we can learn from the cup is that some cups, like this one, are used on special occasions. In my other hand, this is just a regular teacup that we can drink out of every day. Some people, like the, the fine china teacup, only think about God on special occasions, such as Easter or Christmas. People with this mindset miss out on the many blessings that God has for them. People that experience God on a regular basis are like the common cup that gets used almost every day. God fills us up and we pour our lives out doing things that please Him. It is a wonderful thing to be in the hands of a mighty God. We all have choices, the choice we will put into our minds, which directly affects who we are and it chooses what we will decide to do with it. Don't let your life sit on the shelf collecting dust like this beautiful cup that we only use once or twice a year. Open your hearts to the blessing that God has for you and experience him on a daily basis, just like this everyday teacup. Our memory verse for this week says, the greedy stare up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. Proverbs 28 and 25. Thanks so much for helping me with the memory verse. But before we, get, before we go, let's sing and dance to the armor of God by Covenant Kids Worship. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. You got your armor guy. Got, got my belt of truth check. Breastplate of righteousness. Shoes of peace. Shield of hate. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Salvation, sword of the spirit, helmet of 
of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Oh, 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 oh,